Uh, hey friends, it's Christmas, it's finally here. And on behalf of my wife and I, uh, our entire pastoral staff, our entire staff, um, to those of you that are at Baysides here in the region, Southern California, to those of you joining us online from 118 countries all around the world, we just wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas. We also wanna say this, we want God's blessing and God's best on your day. And, um, and I have a very different Christmas devotional for Christmas Day, okay? Because Christmas Day was a mess, okay? And you think about it for a second, okay? Um, every single thing gets messy. I mean, your life gets messy, my room gets messy. I mean, I, you can't think of anything. Um, some of us come from messy backgrounds. Some of us have messy families. Um, you might be having dinner today with a whole bunch of relatives and the relationship stuff's a mess and you're tense all day long. Um, the, there's just, it feels like the world and our lives and stuff like that um, are a mess. And I will never forget the first time I heard a Christmas message. I was a brand new Christian. I was 18 years old. I was at a great church in Southern California named Lake Avenue Congregational. The pastor got up and he started speaking on Christmas. And the problem was this. Um, I come from a messy background. My parents were executive jet set but became alcoholics. They were raged. My dad was a rageaholic. They, their marriage blew apart. All of my relatives' marriages had blown apart. Um, I mean, my fa the family I come from was just a mess. And so I felt messy on the inside because of all the baggage I was carrying. And the promise, I walk into this stunning, amazing church with all thousands of perfect people. And every time you run into somebody, you say, how you doing? And they all say, fine, especially on Christmas. Merry Christmas. How you doing? Fine. Okay? And I literally was like, I'm in this church and I'm the only person that's a mess. Do I even deserve to be here? Should I be here? And then the pastor gets up and describes the Christmas story and the Christmas story okay, where God shows up in the form of a baby. Okay, We got grandkids, nothing's messier than a baby. Okay, And that baby, where is it? It's in a manger, a stable. Nothing's messier than the stall in a stable. Okay, And this pastor began to describe, at my very first Christmas being a Christian, this pastor began to describe this messy baby and these messy circumstances of, of Joseph and Mary, and she's pregnant and they're not married, and this is a mess. And then she explains it to her dad by, oh, it's a God thing. I'm sure that was a messy conversation. And then all these things are going on, and this pastor describes this, and I'm sitting in this service feeling unworthy, feeling like my life's messed up, my background's messed up, and I'm with all these perfect Christians, and this pastor says this. He says, Christmas, when God showed up, it was a mess. The stable was a mess. Mary's life had been turned upside down. It was a mess. Joseph's in shell shock because of all this. That's a mess. The world was a mess. Herod is the ruler, is wreaking havoc on everything. Not that that would happen at our times, but the, the people in charge are making life messy. And then she's in a messy stable with a messy baby. And the whole point of this was this. The pastor just leaned forward. It got all quiet. And he looked at the whole congregation and I felt like he was staring right at me just like I'm doing to you today. And he said this, evidently, the God you discover at Christmas, that God, our God, the God of the Bible is not afraid of a mess. Matter of, and some of you that are going, man, my life's a mess. My relationship, my world's broken. I'm broken. Things are harder than ever. Okay, the last two years have been harder than ever. This has been the year of my divorce. This has been the year of my depression. This has been the year of my discouragement. This has been the year of my discipline. This has been the year I lost people I love. This has been the year I moved and I have no friends. This, in other words, you're going, my God, I'm a mess. Do I need to get my act together and then approach God? No, what you discover is this. The God of the Bible looks for a mess and then shows up. And when he shows up, he says, I have good news of a great joy, and it is for all the people, including messed up people. And what happened on my very first Christmas being a Christian was the words of that pastor describing the first Christmas healed my image of God, healed my image of myself, and healed my image of what the next year could be. I believe this, if your life's a mess, I got good news for you, the God of the Bible He's right there. He's running to you. He's rushing to you. Feel his embrace. Wrap your arms around him and let him make everything brand new. 
We have good news of a great joy, and it is for all the people. That includes you, whoever you are, wherever you are. Merry Christmas from Bayside. God bless you. We love you.